Happy Monday, oil traders. I'm uh, running a little bit behind because we're already into the open here on the East Coast in North America. It's 10.10 in the morning Eastern time. And uh, although we opened below 49, we're up well over 49 um, as of right now, uh, back to kind of that resistance range of 49.34. Um, you know, I've been saying this all last week and it's just the same story right now. There's nothing for me to do until we break out of this range. Um, so if we, if we do manage to keep climbing, uh, then I'm looking for us to get above 50-50 before I start adding to my shorts again. Um, alternatively, if we fall, I'm looking to start exiting my shorts at 48 or below. Um, I'm going to wait until around 47 before I start adding to my longs, however. I want to be a little bit more aggressive with those longs because I feel as though if we do start to fall into that kind of lower um, 40s area, it might be some time before we get back up. Um, so that's kind of my play. Uh, based on the action early this morning, in the first hour or so, first 45 minutes. Um, it looks like we're gonna get a little bit of volatility, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to make any calls until we get closer to European close at 11.30 a.m. Eastern today. Um, barring that, I'm gonna be waiting until, you know, end of day um, where markets close at around four o'clock today. And that, again, that's Eastern time here on the East Coast. And until then, it's really just more waiting. Um, in this range, there's really nothing for me to do. There's nothing to buy, there's nothing to sell, so I wait. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind for today or for the week ahead. Um, hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, and charts. And until then, I'll touch base with you guys towards the end of trading. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and good luck. Cheers.